Hi, kitty cats. I've been thinking a lot about transphobia recently, primarily because I filmed a video answering a great question about it. The question asked if the friction gender nonconforming people feel in relationships after transition is necessarily transphobia. Now, doing research, I found out almost every person who transitions gender loses at least one friend or family member as fallout, and that includes me. As many as three out of five marriages end after gender transition, which doesn't include me, but is almost twice the global average. Now, I have no doubt in my mind that transphobia is real. My sisters, siblings, and brothers experience it daily, and my community faces what I believe is the last government-sanctioned legal discrimination in the United States. But is every slight my community faces driven by transphobia? Well, many of us are quick to use the word to describe typical human behavior. A statistic my wife gave me when I started writing is that no matter who you are, no matter what you do, no matter what you write about, somewhere around half the people you experience won't like you or your work. And worse, with the anonymity of the internet, most of those people are glad to explain precisely what they don't appreciate about you in excruciating detail. So as unfair as it may seem to the transgender community, even after we transition gender, we've smoothed the rough edges of our previous lives, addressed chronic gender dysphoria, become happy and fulfilled humans, even then, sometimes we're still just not likable people. Not every person who dislikes us does it because we transition gender. Some people will dislike us because the person we express in our social environment is not attractive to them, whether transgender or cisgender. So I hope you'll check out the video in my gender education series that explores this topic further. I've linked it in the notes. Talk soon. Bye.